What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I recently built this project for a client and it looks pretty good on my desktop in Chrome, but I'm really curious to see how it looks like on an Android device. There's only one problem. I don't have an Android device. So one of my options I can do is I can come up, inspect this inside of Chrome and choose these few options. I get the Moto G4, the Galaxy X5 and the Pixel but what if I want to look at more options on an actual device that I do not own? Well, the good news is that there is a tool that I can bring up and what I can do is I can actually use an emulator from Android to see how my site looks like on a mobile device and look at an actual Android device to make sure it looks good across the board. I want to show you how to load up this Android emulator on your Mac to test on an Android device. And we're starting right now. The first step again to the emulator is actually downloading the SDK toolkit from Android. I'm on Google, I'm gonna search for Android toolkit. I spelled it right, there we go. And it should pop up towards the top. No, I do not want this. I also wanted to run a Google search in incognito mode because I wanna make sure I'm finding what you are finding. Somewhere down this page, and probably did not come up at the very top, what I'm looking for is the developer android.com slash studio or the download Android Studio and SDK tools for Android developers. Note, we're not gonna use the developer side. We do wanna test the emulators of all of the phones on websites. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this download tool and no thanks. I'm gonna start the download of the Android Studio. I will agree to all the terms and conditions. If you wanna read that, you're welcome to pause this video and read them. I've already read them. I'm gonna download and let it, nope, I'm not going to, and it's gonna download this. I'm gonna pause the video, let this install, and come back when it's finished downloading and installing. Sweet, I've successfully downloaded the Android Studio I have here in my applications folder. If I double click on the Android Studio, what pops up eventually after a few more installations of a few extensions is this Android Studio. This latest version is version 4.2.1. To get to the emulator, you have to create a new project. There's no way to get to it otherwise. Don't worry, I'm not developing an Android app. I just have to get to the emulator to actually test my website out. I'm gonna click on new project and I can choose any project. For this case, I'll say empty activity. When I say next, sure, that looks great. What's gonna pop up on my other screen, so I'll move it over here, is my application. Now I do not know how to write an Android app, so I have no idea what this does, but that's okay. I don't have to worry about this. What I'm working on is I wanna get to the emulator tools, and we get to that by going to tools, and up here is the AVD manager. And what it's gonna pull up is the Android Virtual Device Manager. I have two already here. I've got the Pixel 3a and I have the, I assume it's the Android 8 foldout right here. If I wanna choose something new or if I have a specific hardware that I wanna test on, I can choose from any Android device that is inside the Android collection. So let's say I wanna test the Nexus, let's go to the Nexus 6 right here. There's the ratio. I'm gonna say next, and what it's gonna do is you can choose any version of their operating system as well. How cool is that? I'm gonna say in this case, R for right now, and next, and I'll name it that, perfect. It's gonna create the Android device. Now the next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna run this emulator. In this case, I'm gonna choose the Nexus 6 and hit play. And it's gonna start it, let me pull it over here, let me resize it just on a different screen. It's a bit big on the different size. Oh, come on, buddy. You can resize, maybe. Maybe you're not. Anyways, let's just pull it over here because I, for some reason, will not be able to resize this. There, now I can resize it. Ah, Android. Let's make it about this big. There we go. Pull it down. Now I can see the whole size. Let's clean this area up a little bit, so all we have is the Android device. Perfect. So now I can actually contest my website on this device. I'm gonna click on Chrome, 
And what I can do is accept and continue. Sure, I will do that. No thanks, I have no sync. So what I'm looking for for my previous site was Chantal's concierge. Now if I do a quick Google search, it'll come up right there. If I click on her website, I can make sure that this site runs successfully inside of any Android device. It's looking pretty good. So if this one looks pretty good, I can always come back and run more. So I put this on the left-hand side. I can come back to the Android Studio and say, you know what? I want to test the Pixel 3a along with the Nexus 6. What this is great for, let me pull this up over here, is especially for older devices. You never know who's running on a certain device. And with these, now what I can do, if I hide this, let me close the applications folder. Now I can look side by side and make sure that the text is resizing, the pictures fit, everything works successfully on an emulated device that I don't own, but is still an Android built device. But wait, I have more amazing content for you to share on this channel. I'm all about helping you build better websites. And I have a few videos here that will let you do that. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes.